Hey, what's up YouTube? So I just finished rebuilding my Blackout Mini H quad using the new KISS ESCs. And so I want to take this uh, video and basically kind of walk you through what goes on in my head when I'm tuning these uh, multi-rotors. And basically to show what kind of performance we can squeeze out of these new ESCs. So the main goal here is to not only get that nice locked in feeling, but we're also after smooth video, which is important for me as an FPD. Um, let's start. Loop time, 1200. Make sure you set that in the CLI. All right, here we go. 50-30 props. Unfortunately, I was using some uh, older beaten props, so I apologize for the jello. Uh, all right, so starting pins. As you can see, they're actually pretty high. And the reason is because when I first start doing this, it's usually on the bench and I'm actually hand tuning this. So I'm holding it in my hand and I'm basically raising the pins as high as I can uh, right before it starts doing some oscillations uh, in the hover. And then I'll take it out here into the field and basically start working my way down. So you can see uh, it's a bit of a bumpy and uh, bumpy ride. There's uh, quite a bit of oscillation depending on what maneuver I'm doing or if I hit a gust of wind. Uh, and at this point I can actually feel and see this in my video goggles. So on the next uh, opportunity here I'm actually going to turn it down, which is now. Alright, replace two props. Uh, started working my way down on the pits. That roll felt pretty good. As you can see it's still a little bit shaky. Uh, not so bad on oscillation. We'll see what the split does. Right, so there's a little bit of a bounce back at the end. Not a big deal, I can tune that out. Um, and as you can see now, I've basically worked my way down here. Now it's important to note that it still feels pretty good even though that the, the pits have changed um, quite a bit. Uh, it's not as rigid, it's a little bit softer, it's a little bit smoother. And by now it's really just reviewing the footage uh, and looking for a setting that gives me really smooth video. Because at this point, I'm not going to feel the difference anymore in, the, in the, the way it flies. It feels pretty good, and it feels all the same to me at this point. All right, so I replaced another two props. Uh, Jell is pretty much almost gone, and now it's actually feeling pretty good, nice and locked in. Uh, there might be just a little bit of bumpiness still there. Uh, that's when I would start bumping at D a little bit more. But uh, fortunately, I'm on my last set of HQ props here. So uh, this is pretty much the best I'm going to get until I can get my hands on some more and continue tuning. Next up, we've got the Gemfan Carbon Fiber 530 Props. So I actually uh, took the time to balance these beforehand. It wasn't too bad. And uh, that little roll and uh, dive bomb, I don't know what to call that move, but that actually felt pretty good on 6. Let's see what this uh, floor flip feels like. Or it looks like. Alright, yeah, not too bad. And that actually felt pretty good on the sticks. Uh, the quick thing that I wanted to point out is that I'm actually using the same PIDs. Uh, that I use on the HQ5030 and I'd say that they're actually pretty good. Um, if anything, it might just be a tad too aggressive. Uh, so I'd probably dial it down just a little bit, maybe bump up D and bring the P value down by like 0.1. But other than that, this prop is great. You see it flies pretty smooth. It's uh, It feels nice and crisp in the air. It, it, it really carves through the air very nicely. And uh, it really allows me to fly pretty smooth as you can see here. Now the only thing that I don't like about uh, carbon fiber props is that if you plan on crashing, uh, one, it's going to get expensive, uh, but two, and most importantly, if you do crash, it's going to transfer all of that energy into your motor. And so the first thing that's going to take a beating is your bearing. So when you do something like that, uh, there's a good chance that you're going to mess up your bearings, which I actually did. So I decided to stop flying with these and move on to the next. All right, the HQ5040 props. So these came out straight out the package, uh, no balancing. And I'm using the same PIDs that I did last time. And as you can see here, there's definitely some oscillations, so I need to do some uh, some tuning before I actually went off for flight. What I did was I actually drop P down to like 5.1, I believe. Uh, and I kept D the same on the roll pitch. I kept the same, but as you can see, it's, it's flying pretty nice at this point. 
Um, so let's go see what a, what a forward flip looks like. Yeah, that looked pretty spot on. Now on the sticks it felt really good. Uh, so at, at this point it's just reviewing the footage again to see if it's doing things that I don't like to see when it comes to video. But uh, continuing with the tuning, as you can see, it's I've probably up the P at this point to like 5.3. Also increased D to really try and smoothen everything out. And as you can see, certain parts of this flight almost looks like I'm on a gimbal. If I didn't know any better. But these slow blank turns look nice and smooth. They, uh, they're actually pretty easy to do now uh, on the sticks with this tune. Let's see what this little maneuver does. Yeah, and that felt pretty good on the sticks as well. Uh, and there really wasn't any bumpiness or, or oscillations there. So at this point, I'm going to leave P where it's at. And I'm just going to start working on D uh, to really get this nice and, and silky smooth. You can see some of the actor moves are starting to get nice and uh, precise, which is the way I like it. So with my PID tuning approach, what I'm really after is having the flight controller have as much control over my copter as I possibly can, and having it think as fast as it can, and so that's why I'm really after a really low loop time. And these Kissy ESCs have really allowed me to kind of push that. A uh, loop time of 1200 is uh, pretty significant uh, as the loop time that I've previously been working with was 1600 uh, and that was with the Afro ESCs. So as you can see here these these ESCs are really awesome. Um, it's really allowed me to tune my mini quad which is just a 220 uh, motor motor uh, and as you can see it, it actually looks and feels like uh, something more like a 400 millimeter quad. So here's my final tune for the day for the HQ5040 props and I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon.